All right, everyone, welcome back. It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. Uh, what you're looking at is a Disney Plus that was recently released. A Disney Plus, it's a uh, subscription-based service, kind of like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, etc., etc., Netflix. Uh, the difference is here you are getting the entire library of everything Disney. So every single movie, animated, uh, feature everything that Disney owns on in their vault you'll be able to see it here from Pirates of Caribbeans to you name it Star Wars Marvel it's all here okay so what I'm gonna do on this video is I'm gonna go through those three Star Wars movies I'm only gonna focus on these three right now which is the New Hope Episode 4, Episode 5, and Episode 6, you know, uh, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Uh, Phantom Pain, uh, Phantom Menace, I'm sorry, Phantom Menace, I'll do that some other time. Right now, I'm just focused on those three because that those are the three that everybody honestly wants to see and everybody is interested in. So I'm going to first start with the, uh, the New Hope, Episode 4, and I'll let you know how Dolby Vision looks. All right. Uh, before I start this, I want to say a couple of things. Uh, all of the movies on Disney Plus are 4K, HDR, and Dolby Vision. Okay, depending on your TV, uh, if your TV is capable of Dolby Vision, then you will see Dolby Vision. Uh, if your TV is capable of HDR, you will see HDR. If you have a 4K HDR television, you will have 4K HDR implemented. Also, depending on your device, if your device uh, supports Dolby Vision, you will be able to see it. Uh, if you're using a PlayStation 4 Pro, you will not see Dolby Vision because PlayStation 4 Pro does not support Dolby Vision. It only supports HDR. Uh, Xbox One X, I think you should be able to use Dolby Vision because uh, I, I believe uh, Xbox One X through the streaming supports Dolby Vision, but I haven't tried it, so I don't know. All I can tell you is that Apple TV device uh, supports Dolby Vision. So if you have Apple TV device, I think the Apple TV 4K device is your best way to watch uh, Disney Plus, in my opinion. And uh, it supports Dolby Vision 4K. So ev all of their libraries, every animated movie, everything, it's in 4K Dolby Vision, including all the Marvel movies. Everything is in 4K Dolby Vision, except one movie. And that's James Cameron Avatar. I don't understand why James Cameron doesn't want to release uh, his movie in Dolby Vision 4K. Maybe he is saving that for a 4K UHD Blu-ray version. I don't know. But I think it's kind of ridiculous that he is not releasing uh, the Avatar on Disney Plus with Dolby Vision. It's just, just a Blu-ray HD type of a version. Which is kind of welcome, don't get me wrong. It is cool that he's that he did that, but uh, it's disappointing that he's doing it in HD. Who wants to watch? I mean, that movie deserves to be in 4K HDR Dolby Vision. If one movie deserves to be with 4K and Dolby Vision, and that's Avatar. So anyway, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know what the James Cameron mindset is. Uh, you guys can tweet to him and ask him, hey... Why haven't you released it in Dolby Vision? If he's ever going to reply, which I don't think he will. But anyway, let's move on. Let's start doing this. Let's start first with the New Hope and let's get right on it. Sorry for the long introductions, but I had to do this. I have to kind of give you some uh, heads up on what Disney Plus has in store for you. So let's move on with the uh, A New Hope Episode 4. As you can see, right away, you can see that it says 4K Ultra HD right over here. 4K Ultra HD and Dolby Vision. So that means that your device and your television, and I'm using E8 OLED by LG. This is a 2018 E8 model OLED by LG from 2018 last year. It clearly says right here it supports 4K Ultra HD and Dolby Vision. Okay. There is no Dolby Atmos, it's just a <clears throat> regular Dolby Digital 5.1, which sounds good, okay? 
but you're getting 4K Ultra HD Dolby Vision and you can clearly see it. So let's start with this movie and let me uh, give you my uh, opinions and thoughts on how it looks. Now, the first thing that I noticed, uh, the first thing that I see when I turn on the uh, Star Wars and New Hope, it's clean. Uh, there's a depth to it. Everything looks clean. Uh, it really, it looks as good as 2001 Space Odyssey. Like, it really has that same Dolby Vision color and cleanliness that it's, it's, it's very clean. Uh, if you have seen the original Star Wars, uh, A New Hope, the original footage, uh, you you could just tell right away just how clean. I wish that I had the original Star Wars on, on Blu-ray to show you the, uh, the difference, uh, but this is very clean. Now, I don't know if this is a uh, remastered version. It's possibly a remastered version because it looks very clean. And I think that's what they're using here. They're using a remastered version of the Star Wars uh, because it's the cleanest version. And this one looks very clean. And when I say clean, what I mean is that there is a little bit of that DNR here, uh, guys. I definitely noticed the DNR. What is the DNR? It's the digital noise reduction. I can tell that they use a little bit of DNR here because I don't see that grain. You know, there, there used to be grain on the Star Wars and now you don't notice it. And I think this is a good idea to use the DNR because you're gonna be upscaling this, converting this to a 4K resolution with a higher bit rate. So therefore, when you add DNR and a higher bit rate with a much better resolution conversion of 4K upscaled, you're gonna get a much better, better, sharper image. And then you add Dolby Vision, and Dolby Vision really adds to the uh, to the depth of the picture. It, it really looks kind of like three dimensional. All right, I'm just giving you my thoughts and opinions on what I'm seeing here. Okay, that's what this is. It that's what this really is. Especially this scene right here, like uh, the way you can see the atmosphere here uh, by the planet. The stars are very visible. Uh, there's a sense of the contrast ratio. It's beautiful. And I think this is the one thing that you're going to appreciate about the OLED. Viewing movies on the OLED, it's unlike anything else you have seen. Forget about your projector. Forget about your LCD televisions. I don't care how many local dimming zones you put on there. It's still LCD. Uh, OLED has the best picture-perfect contrast ratio. When you have such a picture-perfect contrast ratio and you add a Dolby Vision on top of that uh, this is the end result you know this is why it looks so great and even here on this scene uh, this looks beautiful man so yeah I mean even in this scene when you look at the R2D2 uh, and the way the The metal, it's reflecting and shining off of the the reflection of the, the light that's above. Uh, all of these elements inside a movie definitely uh, are more, uh, more visible and presentable. Uh, like I said, the best reference I can use is uh, this looks exactly like uh, 2001 Space Odyssey Dolby Vision uh, 4K remaster, honestly. Uh, that's like the only comparison I can use it. And R2-D2 looks uh, very, very detailed here. I mean, you can see the dirt on it, the scratches. Um, and this is what uh, the 4K and Dolby Vision will do when you have such a great conversion. All right. And then you add the OLED, organic light emitting diodes panel on top of this. And you're going to have a really great, great picture quality. And this is a really a top-notch picture quality for streaming. Uh, so, no, this is another important thing. Not only are you getting a really great uh, uh, picture quality, but the, the stream starts right away. It's a very fast stream. When you click on this movie, it's like watching a 4K UHD Blu-ray. It's like you got a Blu-ray uh, connected to this thing and you're watching this from 4K UHD Blu-ray. 
uh, disc. It's really fast. Okay, it's really fast, and you're getting a top-notch quality. There's barely any buffer that I have seen so far. So this is that's the important thing I want you guys to remember about this. Not only are you getting a really great picture quality, but there's barely any buffer, and the movie starts right away. So that's a that's a huge bonus right there. All right, next, let's start with The Empire Strikes Back. Let's do that. Let's jump with that really quick. All right, but apparently there's an issue here, and I think we need to talk about this. Uh, a lot of people have been having this problem with the uh, Disney+. Plus. Uh, whenever you finish watching one movie and you want to go back to watch another movie, there's, like, issue connecting to the server. This happens quite a lot and it's been happening now for past a uh, couple of days ever since they launched this service so unfortunately i am not able to uh look into uh <laughs> empire strikes back because of this problem and uh i tried resetting my apple tv i tried uh exiting and coming back into the app and this issue happens quite a lot and and uh, let's see. Let me go to the Star Wars. Okay, there it is. Let me uh, hit on the Empire Strikes Back. And uh, let's see what happens. Let's click on it. All right. All right, now it seems to be working. There it is. All right, so let's do this. Right off the bat, I got to tell you, um, the Dolby Vision, it's as equal to uh, Space Odyssey 2001. If you haven't seen or if you haven't owned uh, 2001 Space Odyssey 4K version of the movie, I have it. I highly suggest that you do. It is really that good. Uh, the 4K Dolby Vision, it's as in par as equal to... 2001 Space Odyssey and that's pretty darn good for what Disney Plus it's it's doing here for the Star Wars. This is like the first time we see the Star Wars in 4K, okay? And Dolby Vision and HDR. So this is pretty good. Very impressive uh looking. Now, this is a remastered version cuz I do notice CGI so the version that Disney is putting out, it's the uh, the Lucas remastered version. Because I see a lot of CGI. Like, this is CGI. And back then, you know, you didn't have a CGI to do that. You know, Industrial Light and Magic, you know, they didn't do this with the CGI. They used the uh, practical effects. So, uh, but look, that's fine because it really looks good. I know there's a little bit of the DNR here. It's not like Terminator 2. DNR, okay, it's a slightly little bit of DNR. I mean, there's still a little bit of that grain, but you got to use a magnifying glass to see the grain, if, if you catch my drift. It's not totally DNR, but it's a little bit of DNR that's used, which is uh, not bad here. And it's a really a reference to uh, Space Odyssey 2001, in my opinion, in, in terms of uh, quality. Oh, this is very sharp, man. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you can, uh, like, the the way you see the snow on Luke's uh, uniform and his goggles, uh, it's very vivid. It's very good, man. You guys have to remember, this looks much better in person, okay? I'm not doing this video to, to show it to you. Oh, look, there's a Holy Grail. Look at it. I'm doing this video to give you my thoughts and opinions for those of you who haven't subscribed to Disney+. Plus. So I'm basically telling you what I'm seeing. You can either believe me or don't. It's up to you. But I'm just letting you know what I'm seeing. And what I'm seeing here is pretty darn good. Okay? It's really a 4K UHD Blu-ray. Here's what I want to say. What Disney Plus is putting out here, it's equal to 4K UHD Blu-ray type of a quality. And I know this might be difficult for you to, to hear this. And it's a very, a big statement to make, but they're definitely using some top-notch servers and top-notch uh, bitrate here to, to give us. And this shows, this really shows how far 
the streaming services have come. And this is why I keep telling people that physical media slowly is going to die, guys. It, it, it's, it's a matter of, of, of years before, uh, probably by 2023, I don't think we'll see any more physical media, man. I mean, honestly, or maybe even before then. Yeah, and especially this scene right here. It's very clean, very sharp. Uh, the the stuff you see in the background and everything, all the uh, the console lights, uh, it's really done well. And like I said, the only reference point I can use something to reference it to is the uh, uh, two thousand and one Stanley Kubrick's Space Odyssey. If you have seen two thousand and one Space Odyssey. That was remastered by uh, Christopher Nolan. This is as equal to that. It's like the only reference I can use. And it's very clean. It's very well done. And the bitrate, it's as equal to 4K UHD Blu-ray. I guarantee you, when they release this on 4K UHD Blu-ray, you, you will not be able to tell a difference between what you're seeing here being streamed versus what's on the disc. I'm telling you. Look at the black digital levels here. Look at the Harrison Ford and, and how beautifully this is remastered. Uh, like I said, really well done. I mean, for streaming, this is a streaming service. It's really well done. So kudos to Disney. They really took a great care on putting out these movies. And, and that's, that's a good sign that they truly care about Disney Plus and this streaming service. They want to give you the best possible quality. And that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, even here, uh, the black levels and, and uh, the white levels, uh, uh, everything in this, uh, mass, this remaster here, I think it's a remaster. I think it's a Lucas remaster because I see a bunch of CGI stuff in here. I don't see practical effects. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But I, I do notice a little bit of CGI. Uh, it looks very clean. Looks very clean, and the 4K and Dolby Vision definitely adds to to this, especially up here on on this shot. The way the uh, the ship is being overshadowed by another ship, it's really amazing uh, the way it looks, man, uh, and the stars and everything. And Dolby Vision here, like I said, it's as equal as 2001 Space Odyssey reference. Because the reason I'm mentioning 2001 Space Odyssey, because it's the best reference that I can use to describe to you how it looks in Dolby Vision. Especially this scene right here, with Darth Vader, uh, looks pretty amazing, man. Uh, like I said, <laughs> it's really difficult for my camera to depict it's impossible for my camera to depict, even though I'm recording in HDR. This is something you have to see for yourself in person. But let me tell you, it's a top-notch quality. 4K UHD Blu-ray top-notch quality. And I'm not kidding. And, and kudos to Disney Plus for doing this, because this is top-notch, okay, what they've done here. All right. And even here, look at the stars and everything. It's really done well. It's really done well. And uh, I hate to repeat myself like a broken record, but reference point I'm using is 2001 Space Odyssey 4K UHD Blu-ray. And this is as equal in bitrate as 4K UHD Blu-ray. That's what I'm seeing here. And I've seen plenty of 4K UHD Blu-ray movies. And I'm telling you, you're not going to see a difference between this and the 4K UHD Blu-ray disc when it comes out, it's going to be as equal. Now, physical media, it's something you own. That's a you know totally different story. It's You have it. But in terms of quality, I don't think you're going to see a difference in terms of quality. Just look how beautifully the Darth Vader, it's being represented here. Nicely and clean. Uh, this just looks stunning. The one word I can... Just stunning. For a movie that's so old... Just like I was blown away by 2001 Space Odyssey and how stunning it looks, it really shows how much technology has come a long way to, to give us these old movies and restore these old movies in the best possible quality. 
Here's yet another shot right here. Looks amazing. All right, so I'm running out of uh, out of memory on my camera. Uh, I won't be able to do the Return of the Jedi, but the first two here that I have looked into, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, these two movies, and I'm pretty sure Return of the Jedi is going to have the same treatment. Uh, this is pretty stunning, guys. Uh, I think if you're a Star Wars fan, Disney Plus is definitely not going to disappoint, man. They're giving you Dolby Vision 4K. 4K Ultra HD Dolby Vision for $7 a month on top of everything else. Uh, this is definitely something you should think about. Uh, uh, I think it's worth it. I think uh, subscription is definitely... The pricing is right, and I think it's worth it. And above all, you're getting a really top-notch quality. Not just the Star Wars, but Marvel movies, Lion King... Uh, parts of Caribbeans, etc., etc., Pixar movies, you're getting the top notch 4K Dolby Vision and HDR quality here. And that's pretty darn awesome, if you ask me, honestly. So I hope this video was informative. Uh, go ahead, check it out for yourself. Take a seven day free trial. You can take a free trial for seven days, see it for yourself. Don't just take my word for it, and you will see it for yourself and make your own conclusions. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.